Where's your thingy, your medallion, your symbol thingy? Your thing, what do you your mean? Oh, it's on my belt. I kind of look at it. What about it? Is that the same one? You glance across the street, and <laughs> between two of the buildings, there's a hut, like a, like a hut. It's made of stone and like a thatched roof. It looks old and weathered. Um, and there is a wooden door, and on the door you see hanging from a, a metal ring what looks to be, at first glance, it looks almost like a, like, like a meal bell, like a dinner bell type thing, but it's a little like archway <gasps> with a little path running through <gasps> it with a horizon in the center. <laughs> I take off towards it. I have power of walk behind. Okay. A little bit. All right. Still looking around. You go ahead and make your way there. You push past uh, what looks to be uh, this heavy pair of oxen that are kind of good night, good night, making their good way good across the street. With the cartwheeling behind, you see this like this large orc that kind of you know pushes out of the way. <laughs> Come on! Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sir. Sorry. And just keep, and goes ahead and takes the reins and pushes them a little further. You guys move past that as the wheeling continues on. <laughs> and I, I saw all of that. <laughs> You make your way to the door, and it's a door. Knock, 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 knock. Hello, 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 hello. Jesus. <laughs> Super dark inside. You just see a little bit of like spackled gray and brown fur, and this big kind of cloudy eye glance through the crack and go, "Hello." Hello. O M G. <laughs> The eye squints a bit and it kind of rotates and goes to the other eye, which is not as cloudy, and goes, hey, hey, What's that? What do you think it is? What is on your door right here, man? <laughs> the door pulls open, and you see now, hunched down in the doorway, it looks to be an elderly knoll, the hair mostly white and gray, this heavy walking cane, it's a crooked stick on the side. Um, you see, uh, bits of the snout where the furs got away, uh, kind of fallen out, you can see the kind of wrinkled skin, some of the spots that are coming through the, through the, the bit of the snout. Um, some of the gums are missing teeth and are kind of blackened. It's older and not in the best health, but it, but it, but it seems to be, and the smell is awful too. It's, it's yeah. That would be some stinky breath. Yeah. Some stinky yeah. hot breath. breath, yeah. No. And so, uh, uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> the sequel Elderly has no. been found. Not regular. Yeah. The, the other hand kind of grabs the doorway and peeks through the elongated neck of the knoll, kind of creeping in, looking it over and goes, are you a friend of a traveler? Are you? Oh, 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 oh. Hi, come in. Come in. Can I, can I, can I come in? Can I come in? Come in too. She's also really cool, and she also sort of likes the traveler sometimes. You also follow the traveler. Uh, oh. uh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. well, I follow Jester, and whoever she follows, I follow. I'm gathering a small army of traveler followers, and she is one of them, actually. Sure, he turns around and you walk inside. The interior is is small. It's it's ten foot by ten foot, and that is the extensive uh, that, that that's the extent of the interior. You can see there's a heavy bundle of rags and furs and such that are that are pushed over. It appears to be a broken wooden frame that once maybe was a functional bed, but now it's just a pile that it sleeps on. Um, the smell in here is a combination of. Uh, rotting food, general uh, like wet, oily fur, uh, a hint of urine smell, and uh, and burned out candles. Mm, the the candles don't do a good job of covering that. What? It's a little orang in your heart. Are you welcome to leave? No, no, no! I like it. It's wonderful. Goes and pulls up a a small stool and kind of. <laughs> <sighs> sits on it for a second, leans on one knee towards you. So why uh, you, you come to me, or what you want from me? Are you um, gonna tell us a story? You kind of, if you have the posture, like you're gonna tell us a ghost story. Like, mostly I want to know, like, like. Where are you from, huh? Um, humans here in this mm Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, you know, I kind of, I feel like I'm a, a citizen of the world. You know, I know I'm not really from any one anyway, place. What's How did you meet the traveler? When did you find him? When did he come to you? Yeah, what's your name, friend? 
What's your main friend? I asked you five. You did, you really did. did. Yeah, it's Jester after all. What is yours? Korvac. Korvac? Korvac. Korvac. Right, yeah. Yeah. When did you find him? When did he come to you? When did he? What did he say? Oh, you know, uh, like what did he look like? Does he have a, the same cloak that he wears with me, or is that like the only thing? Or sometimes, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, well, you came and found me about a couple years ago. Uh, oh, okay. Just a couple years. After my partner like was killed by a gloom stalker in the south. Thought it strange that uh, fair folk would visit an old codger like myself, but uh, he taught me to pass the time, you know, pissing off folks with prayings. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, pissing off my neighbour Brook Trash. It's a real right prick. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I brought some liveliness back into my life when I was mostly just kind of uh, lonely and. Uh, Promised he'd bring some gifts down the road the more I uh, poked those nearby. <laughs> Did he? Well, no, not yet, you know. I'm just still sowing mischief as much as I can, you know. Right. You know, physicality's breaking down as the years pass. That's oh, okay. you look spry, <laughs> totally spry. You got really nice ears, and I am a good null ear expert, after all. That's <laughs> um, true. Well, uh, anyway, I kind of became the only friend, and uh, doesn't visit often, not really, but uh, I was telling me that there's supposed to be some meeting soon. You were telling yeah. me about the same thing? In the yeah, Undor, I mean, I yeah, yeah. wrong there. I, you, so I told you the same. Yeah, 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 you're going to go. I mean, I hear it's going to be like the biggest rave ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, over in Gimel, the house at the butchery, you're the only other person I know believes me. <laughs> Wait, who? Gimel at the butcher. Yeah, I can I totally told understand all everything about you said. I told traveler. He made fun of me for a while, Wait, but. The, uh, the dragonborn butcher? That guy? No, 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 or you're thinking yeah, of the, the gentleman. Is it? It's an ogre was the butcher. The ogre. That you met. But, Sorry. But you don't know who Gimel is. You haven't run into a Gimel is. Gimlet. No, no, he's one of them orcish folks. Uh, right. Um. How, how did you come to find him, huh? Oh, well, he came to see me when I was really young. Oh, how yeah. long ago? <laughs> oh, you know, like years ago. Like, probably. Like, it must be like. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 15 years ago, maybe, you know? Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were, uh, did he, yeah, he was, you know, like my age when he came to see me. And then we hung out and we were like best friends hanging out for a long time. And then, you know, he got a little older and I think like more powerful, you know, because he tends to do these sort of things. And then he seemed to come to see me less and less, but he still is, you know, super prevalent in my life and stuff. That's great, I'm glad to hear that. I mean, I think I might be one of the originals, you know? I think, like, if we go to this place in, like, a year, right, I think that I'm probably going to be, like, pretty high up. Well, I, I wouldn't ranks. know about that, but I've, I've done quite a few deeds at his name. I mean, do you have, like, a lot of spells from him? Because, like, I totally do. No, I but I... I brought the person back to life. I've shot in at least four of the wells of this city. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 God. I smell something when we went down there. I yeah. think that might be. It makes so much more yeah. sense. Yeah. I was like, why does the water smell like this? That's I think it, I thought it was sewage, and it turns out it is. That's <laughs> the will of the traveler. Uh, <laughs> uh, give her dysentery? <laughs> Oh, hold on, I have a present for you. And I'm going to take out my paintbrush of magic stuff and I'm mm -hmm. gonna paint a little traveler figurine for him. Oh, you're quite talented, aren't you? Yeah. 
I'm really talented. Thank you. You're welcome. You can pray to that whenever you feel like the need to. Carefully gets up and lumbers across the chamber and sets it on just this kind of makeshift table that's barely functional for a creature of his size and kind of sits and admires it, his body kind of half cocked to one side the way he holds his weight and goes, <laughs> Yeah. Spins around looking at the both of you. And how'd you come to know the traveler? Huh? Oh, you know, we're just starting our relationship. It's still very new. It was really Jester here that uh, yeah. introduced me to him and haven't been visited yet personally. Kind of didn't know if he was real or not until this just happened. So <laughs> mine's a little bit blown, but I'm hopeful, you know? <clears throat> So uh, I'm really excited about this uh, gathering. I don't uh, don't get to meet a lot of other folks, and most just think I'm a bit crazy. You I didn't know? even know there were other people, and then we were in this one place, and I found these tokens that were like his symbol, you know. And I was really? like, Yeah, yeah. So somebody had to have left them there. Oh, so there's got to be a few more of us. Oh, that's gonna be such a good time! I'll be excited. Whoever brings the most people to the thing is going to be the winner. Oh, so you should probably start. Content? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take you, pal. What are we supposed to bring? Oh. You're supposed to bring as many people as you can. Huh? Oh, it's only a few more months of time. I thought, oh, goodness, I can talk to old Wait, wait, what was the date I, of this? I, I mean, I know, I remember. It just said, Undoar, more to come. I ah, so mysterious. I know. <laughs> I hope you don't die before it happens, because that would really suck. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> How long of a trek? Sorry. Sorry. Well, what's old for an old? Is that rude to ask? What's old for an old? How far away is this place? What place? The place we're meeting him. I don't have a place yet. It's in the month of Undalar. Oh, I thought he gave me a place. He didn't give me one yet. Oh, hold on, let me look at my notes. Can I interject for a second? Sure. Caduceus, they've been gone for 10 minutes. You see everything, where did they go? <laughs> we can't make a stir out here, but they've been gone forever. They've been taken or something. Calm down, it's no. fine. Why it's not just... fine, where are they? They messages. haven't been taken. I just saw them go across the street that way. Is that a skid mark on the side of the well? <laughs> there is a bit of... I wasn't going to say anything oh. about it, but um, probably. I think I thought it was the location. The day Zenith Undalar is what I wrote before. All right, well, I suppose the invitation's gonna come out some point soon, right? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder if he can be in a bunch of different places at the same time, probably not. I wonder what he wants us all to do when we get together. I'm sure it'll be interesting. Hey, Traveler! Are you there right now? Do you, what do you want us to do? Will you tell us where we're going? Because we're, you know, a couple people here now talking about you. Do you hear him? <laughs> good trick, good trick. Yeah, I almost thought he was here. He might be. Uh, it's been months since he made an appearance, so uh, I think that's his way of keeping me on my toes. Eh? I saw him last night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he like visually deflates a bit. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it gets really awkward. The room, the room just gets super tense and quiet. I kind okay. Of back into a pot and knock it over a little. Oh no, uh, that was probably the pea pot. It was. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. uh, You're right. Feeling uncomfortable. Hey, so. You should probably get going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, um, do you know the spell Sending? What? So, it's this spell where you can send people messages. I, I, I don't. Okay, well, I know it. So, here's the deal if I find out a location, I'm going to send you and let you know. Sure, no, tell me more about the great gifts he's giving. It's <laughs> fantastic. Well, I mean, I've known him for a really long time, you know? Like, I'm sure in a couple of years you'll, and, and 
maybe when we meet in a couple months, you know, you'll already have some spells. Maybe if you started wearing a cloak like him, you know, he would like it. I draw dicks on things. Oh Reaches back and grabs like one of the blankets from the bed and kind of. <laughs> that is already a huge improvement. <laughs> NPC tells you to leave. You can now see the uh, <laughs> the, the Noel is like eyeing you up and down very intently, and is like making with a good eye on the left, and it's kind of making intense mental notes. Yeah, yeah. Take it in. Take it all in. All right, but we should go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Comes forward. You, just, you see the, the hands touch the back, and for as old as this Noel is, still got some strength in him, and kind of like shoves you back out the side. Ooh. The front door. <laughs> the door kind of. I See you in a few months, dear. <laughs> oh. Why does everyone react to me like that? <laughs> I don't know. At You're so point, likable. You do notice that Jester's cloak is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. You pat it out. Wow. <laughs> you hear behind the door. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Jesus, it's Fight Club. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm going to go to the back of his hut and just draw a giant, like, giant dick <laughs> and like a flaming poo.